Welcome back everybody to another video from your people here at TK Stitch. It's been a minute. Weather has been crazy. We finally got some decent days below 100. It's been around 80 the last couple of days. So that's perfect. Also, we were sick. I'm barely getting uh, to my 100%. But what we're doing today is pretty cool. We're going to be embroidering a flag like this one. But much bigger on the front of the hat. In height, it's going to be about 2.5 inches and then 4.2 in width. I'll show you guys how I digitized it. Like this one looks horrible. All scrunched up because I did satins on all of these uh, reds and whites, which was the worst thing I could have done. But this was for something else anyways. The person that hit us up uh, wanted to know if we were able to do it. I guess he had gone to other shops and either they didn't want to or they couldn't because of the size. I'm guessing they just didn't want to deal with it. It's three hats and we went through all the details. We did the stitch out, which I lost. I wish I had it, but and then we show him. Turns out he's in the military. Uh, he's active right now, so he's like, okay, when I get back to the States, uh, we'll work it out. I'm like, okay. But, you know, usually I like to do the work up front, show them, and uh, try to secure the job. But anyways, hopefully uh, he does come around when he gets back to the States. But I figured I might as well practice it. If it comes around, we'll be ready. Instead of running another flat sample, I'm going to practice on this really messed up decky hat that I have right here. And if it comes out good, then I'm going to do it on this uh, sheesh, on this Yupong uh, green bill hat. These are pretty clean. I also have these Yupongs, but the crown is really low. And for the size that you want, it would be way up here. And with this curve here, it wouldn't be possible or it just wouldn't come out nice. If you guys hear Smack Dab by Akon and Eminem, that's my neighbors are throwing a party right now. It's 11.30 p.m., still kind of early, so we'll vibe with it. But what I'm focusing on the most here, I already know the image looks good on the flat. But the thing is, and I've mentioned before that when I do like a square or a rectangle, the bottom of the rectangle, it's kind of like way out here and then it seems like it goes narrow narrower as we go to the top making it look like a, a trapezoid or something uh, i never really see anybody talk about that specific problem so either i'm too picky with the way my hat comes out or other people don't have that issue let me know if you guys do that as well so pretty much compensating for that and making the bottom of the shape narrower um, than it should be so let's look at the shapes and properties of what we have here. Of course, we have our white fill, which is this shape here, and the angle going up and down. Nothing special here. Start and stop. And then, so that's a fill uh, in the other patch that I showed you. That was, uh, those were satins. And what happens is that just causes too much stress on the fabric, both types of satins are pulling the same direction so it just crushes everything down makes it super wrinkly you don't want that so this helps uh, combat that issue and then on top of that we'll do the satins nicely spaced out always go narrower because of the tension so these reds will be just a little bit thinner and it should look good after that we got the blue square now this one's going more of an angle I'm not gonna change it because I already know it looks good but um yeah i wouldn't really do it up and down just so there's a little bit more uh texture kind of uh changing the angle of objects sometimes gives it a little bit of a texture probably put this at the end i'll move this at the end the stars luckily the flag is pretty big so the stars do look decent on smaller flags they just look like little dots or like just real messy some of these got doubled up for some reason and these are going to stitch out in a crazy order. I'm kind of lazy to put them in, in order so they go left to right and all that. So they'll be all over the place. And there'll be tons of threads, thread to cut to clean that up. Totally fine with that. And then the border will be 3D puff, actually. So make sure we only have a center run. And, oh, let's change the metric. And for the outline here, go with the lucky number 18. 0.18 right there size 2.5 and 4.2 in width or 63.8 millimeters in height and 108.7 millimeters wide now what we have to worry about is what i said i am going to mess with it here on the first run so something like this i hope it's not too much Cause it's gonna go real it's four inches so it's gonna be like around here and i feel like the further out it goes the more of a weird shape it gets so this is kind of extreme but i'm gonna go for it and then if it's too much then i'll back it off a bit somewhere in between 
and we should be fine hopefully so let's put true view so we can see here and match it along side that well i know i pretty much was aiming for the line here right there now they're playing soldier boy superman I know some of you guys still hit the hit the dance move every now and then. Now that I look at it, it's, this is pretty extreme. <laughs> but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I've done some shapes where I've had to I had to go to this extreme before. So I really wouldn't be surprised if it comes out just right. Probably won't, but maybe. Is that white from the picture? And yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me go ahead and put this back center everything make sure my point is at the bottom center and wish me luck status on the party across it has hit critical stage f bombs everywhere wouldn't be surprised if something breaks out and then silence afterwards kind of hoping for it go ahead and put our crusty hat on there one sheet of three ounce stabilizer might have to bend this bill just a bit Got to set up here the hat. Well, I have to find the first one I did and delete it so I don't get them confused since they do have the same name. White for the stars and I think it's going to be yellow for the 3D, which I'm not going to do for this run. I'll do it for the official one. And that's it. Let's uh, put the hat on there. Let's trace this as your jerk plays in the background. So yeah, it's, it's pretty big. It's going to go way out here. We got space up here. I might... Yeah, that's that's fine. I was going to bring it up a little bit this way. But it's not that close to the brim. I think that should be good. Let's hit it. That took a good minute, 34 minutes to be exact, for just a little sample for a job that I may never have to do. But here we have it. Uh, we got a little bit of white sticking out, a little underlay right here. I'm just going to pull that in a bit. This hat is crazy wonky, so it's really hard to see how, <laughs> how it's really supposed to be. But check it out. It still kind of feels like it opens up at the bottom here. But not much and see it still looks like it, it looks more like the way it should be like a square so i think that's correct right what do you guys think making those those changes to change the shape of the uh the flag only thing the final hat is going to be on richardson i don't think it's as high as this one and then i have this decky one that i also thought about trying it on but i think this one's too small uh 2.5 already would kind of be pushing it up here and by the pictures that the guy sent me i think i'm gonna have to squeeze this down keep this but lower it a little bit it was more of a flag running like that as opposed to like this type of shape you know what i mean like it's really high up it's really wide i'm gonna double check on the picture and see if i gotta make those changes i tried to be slick and burn off all these uh jump cuts uh jump stitches whatever just straight up burn the hat don't do that I just did a quick trace on the decky hat that I'm planning on doing. Uh, I think I'm going to do it. I just got to bend the bill really good. This will bend right back as well. And the, uh, what do you call that? The arm? The arm of the machine it does kind of push up a little bit up here. I'm going to do it anyways. If it doesn't come out great, don't matter. I did a few changes. One, I brought that in. The whole, the whole shape, not just the underlay. 
I brought the whole shape in a little bit more. This white space is way too wide, so this red, I also brought it up a little bit. So it's more evenly spaced out. And I put up the density by one point for the white. That's it. I am a little bit worried that it's going to distort a little bit when it gets over here. I don't know if you can see, but the hat lifts a little bit because of the arm. Not much. But when it comes to the satin with 3D puff, don't know how that's going to come out. But let's do it anyways. I'm not going to do the whole... Um, time lapse again I'll show you guys clips more importantly I'll show you uh, when it gets to the puff and towards the end of the design it's not looking too shabby up here we might be able to make it check this out everybody I put this light up here I had it up here but it's really harsh just shooting light down on the top of my dome so I put it here so it should a little bit more on the side and I threw two corrective gels on there some orange so the light is not too blue but we are gonna be due for a cleanup real soon I think what I should have done for the white instead of it the angle being this way it should have gone this way so that we didn't have that black line in the middle from the seam of the hat but once we have all the red lines on there it should look fine All right, as we're getting all star spangled over here, I got my yellow foam. Luckily, I got this one. This is an Amazon one. It's not that great, but for uh, this hat, it's just what I need. Here we are. That flag is huge. It's going to start off over here. I'm going to slow it down a bit and hit it. That's so why you want that center run, so you don't have to hold or tape the foam the entire time. And you know I'm going to save that piece for something else. enough tooth all right I also show you guys the uh, the picture that the guy sent the inspo that's pretty good the foam covered up perfectly nothing stuck out I like the shape of it and you guys saw how much I brought that in and look it, it looks just right if anything maybe even a little more would that be pushing it what do you guys think do you guys do that as well of course the hassle is going to be cutting up all of these but stars and small objects like this could be tricky so i'd rather do this get a much cleaner object and even a cleaner backing as well or else we would have a bunch of tie-ins and tie-outs right there even the even the satin came out pretty good i don't even think i need to do it with the heat gun Just a little lighter work here And there it is. But so here's the final. And this is the picture they sent. I think it's just the shape. I mean, the uh, the size. I don't know if I need to lower mine or what it is, but that's pretty much it. This looks comically huge, <laughs> at least for this hat. But we did it. It came out good. So I'm happy about it. Uh, if the guy were to hit me up, I guess I'd tell him, you know, how does this look? Whatever his thoughts are. If not, I could suggest like I could bring it a little bit shorter or I think overall just make the entire shape smaller with and height. What do you guys think about the sizing of it? What would you guys do? As the party's wrapping up across, so am I. That's it for this one. Appreciate you guys. Any likes and subs. Again, we are this close to 900. Thank you guys for your time, your clicks, uh, your attention. Until next time, deuces.